Okay, um, mid-April, and I'm putting out my mason bees, aka blue bays, uh, aka leaf cutter bees. And the thing with these bees is they are not honey bees, they are pollen bees, and they are by their nature pollinators. And where they really um, went out over the European honey bee as a pollinator is that European honey bees really have no brand loyalty. You may stick them in the middle of an orchard and they'll leave. They'll just go someplace else. Then they come back to their hive, but they didn't necessarily for, uh, pollinate your orchard. Um, what I heard at a Penn State uh, presentation in Biglerville two years ago was that there are no hives working the apple orchards and whatnot in Michigan. They don't need them. They have so many wild pollinators there and the mason bees do it. So I'm trying to establish a colony here of mason bees to give me a reliable pollination source. It was kind of a gamble. I get my supplies from Crown Bees, crownbees.com. Uh, there you go. It's, it's on the piece of paper there. Crownbees.com. And what I got were little kits. They're kind of fun for oh, little kits to build little shelters, tiny shelters. Inside that shelter you might be able to make out is bee lure, which I suppose is sort of, you know, like oh to love for bees. I don't think it's a pheromone, but I think it's something they like. And these little tubes, because that's what mason bees are all about. Now you'll see some little things made out like bamboo and whatnot. From the presentation at Penn State, they are very particular about the hole size. So these things with lots of random hole sizes, not so good. The other thing is, you'll see there's a little hole in the back end. And that's so you can sight down the little puppy later. And you can see, if there's light through it, nobody's built a nest inside. But if it's dark, then you know there's a nest in there. And in the fall, you harvest them. You unwind these, and you pull out the little cocoons and you put them in your little humidifier, humidor, that you keep in the refrigerator to help them stay dormant until it's time like now. Well, I can't get it open really quickly. But the little cocoons are little tiny guys and they come in boxes like this. I'm sorry, boxes like this. And you get so many for what you buy. And little cocoons are one, g one gender, and the larger cocoons are the other. I can't remember male versus female, but, you know, there you go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fasten these, and they say put them someplace where they get sun, preferably facing north, south. Well, if I aim these south, our summer weather comes from the south, and it will drive rain right in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them facing east where they have a nice broad side to the south and we don't get weather from the east. We get our weather from the north, south, or west. And I'm going to put it in, underneath that cross arm over there so that the um, there's a little bit of sheltering. You know, they don't get too hot. Yes, I turned off the electric fence before I started this. I'm going to put one on either side of this orchard and then the other one is going to go under a cross arm over there. And then we just hope for the best. My, my idea being is that the, um, the bees over here will work the trap trees. These will go between the trap trees and the orchard proper and the far one will work the orchard. And I'll see, you know, return on investment. I put so many cocoons in, and if they, uh, they mate and they put more eggs in, I'll get more cocoons and I can start to build a colony. And all I'll be replacing are these little tubes or buying more permanent homes for them. So I guess on the little things, they, they give you instructions on how to build these houses. They don't need glue. I tried putting carpenter glue on them. It won't stick. So that was a waste of time. But it made for a nice evening of arts and crafts one night when I was particularly bored and it was cold and wet out. So there you have it, and I'll show you a picture when I'm done. Bye-bye.